Look, I'm not saying you're old, but if you were whiskey, you'd be really expensive. Hi, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me for today's Assemble This video. It's got a masculine kind of drinking theme going on today, and I'm really excited to share with you how this card comes together with some Copic coloring and just some really simple stamping and layering of die cuts to create a perfect masculine card or card for your whiskey drinking loving friend. <laughs> This is the brand new Unity Stamp Company If You Were Whiskey stamp set and it has this fabulous drinking glass of whatever your favorite liquor would be and then some fun sentiments to go along with it. I'm creating two birthday cards today and I have my images pre-stamped on some hammer mill uh, white card stock and the Copic friendly ink I'm using today is Gina K Amalgam. When deciding which colors I wanted to use for my markers, I looked to Google and I actually Googled a whiskey cup or whiskey glasses just to kind of get an idea of the colors because in my head I knew it was brown, but I wanted an idea of what colors I needed from Copics to, to kind of mimic that, that rich amber color that, that whiskey has. So there's a bit of yellow and kind of a warm red browns and then just browns that I pulled out and again I'm just kind of layering these colors up and ink blending um, over and over again to kind of mimic that amber color. While the Google image didn't really show me exactly for this stamp how the highlights would be, it gave me an idea of how what light would look through the, the glass and through the ice cubes. So I try to keep the center of each of those lighter with the yellow being the main focus and then kind of creating the darker um, shadows from around the edges of every image. So that's what I did. I started out with a layer of yellow in the Y00, kind of came in and deepened that with the Y13. And now I'm using E53 and E80 to create the amber and shadow effect of the, the whiskey. And I, I like to do a mix of those. Sometimes the E80 and the E53 were not blending very easy. So I'll pick up the E80 with the E53 and those kind of blend on the pen. And then I, when I blend that onto the paper, it creates a, a smoother blend between those two sharp tones. Um, so that's, that's a nice tip. If you don't have all the colors in the rainbow for Copics, you can use that tip to kind of blend your colors a little bit easier. And now I'm just going in and creating a lot of shadow and depth. Again, I'm kind of referencing that photo I found online to help me with getting the, the shadow from around each of the, the areas of the ice cube and the glass to kind of create a bit of depth in the, in the image. Now I'm just going to move on to the actual glass itself in that top ice cube. I'm using N1 to create the shadow of the glass. I pulled out a couple other N colors, but I only used the N1. And then I'm going to use that to shadow all the way around the glass. And then I'll use a little hint of the yellow and the browns to kind of pull that up into that ice cube. Again, I used that reference photo from Google. Kind of looked like it would maybe kind of grab that, even though it's not in the, the liquid. I, I used that reference photo and I just kind of pulled it up into the, the ice cube. And then I used a bit of BG00 and my zero blender to kind of blend everything out and then added a little bit of shadow behind the glass. And then to add an extra pop of highlight, I'm using a white pen to kind of use the, the dots that are in the stamp itself and then add a little bit of highlight to either side of the, the glass to kind of make, give it a little more of a lifelike look. And I did these for both. I'm going to do a landscape and a portrait card today. I pulled out a bunch of pattern papers. These, this set of papers are from the Apple Picking Paper Pack from Unity. 
just die cut those down and I die cut my whiskey panel down into a landscape shape. Wrap some twine around the front after I layered those up on some craft card stock. Since it's a masculine card, I thought about a bow, but I don't know. I go back and forth between bows and men. <laughs> I don't think they really care either way, but I ended up tying it in a knot. Popped up my whiskey and the Hope Your Birthday Rocks sentiment on the front and then added a few Nouveau drops for accents. Next up, I have the rustic wood paper pack, and I just die cut that down into scalps. Slapped that onto my card front, popped up my whiskey uh, Copic colored panel, and then again added some more Nouveau drops in clear. Kind of mimics that glass look and adds a little bit of something to the cards. And here are our finished cards for our manly whiskey drinking men or women <laughs> in our two different shapes in our landscape um, card. Up first, I just really like the, the way that the whiskey colored Copics turned out. My reference photo was really helpful. And then for the portrait card, just some really simple layering and some simple pattern paper. And then just the hint of the Nuvo drops in clear just for something fun to add as an accent. I'll have all the supplies linked in the description of this video on my Dollhouse Designs YouTube channel and blog. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed it, plus if you have any questions or a sweet comment post below. Thanks again for creating with me. I hope you're inspired and I'll see you again soon. Bye!